it was like picking up a coffee table. One of the receptionists just ran this little lifeless thing back and set her on the table. And I took one glance at her and immediately I said, that little puppy has tetanus. Her ears were pinned back, her lips were pulled back into what we call like the sardonic grin. She was tremoring really severely. She was with it mentally, which was very sad to look at her and know how scared she was. Unfortunately, her owner had to give up their animal. He was not going to be able to put forth the type of money that would be required to even give her a try. I uh, decided in my head that I was going to be a crazy person and try to take this on. I'm going to do everything that I can to try and get her to survive. Hi girl. The very first night was extremely tough. It was round the clock care. Okay, Kayla. Getting her first bath. And then in between that, I was with her to clean her or to tend to her. She loves that. I kept her eyes blindfolded for at least a full 14 days just to decrease stimulation. Good morning. I'd walk in in the morning and I'd just kind of gently start speaking to her and immediately her tail would just start working. And that always really warmed my heart. She definitely gave me little hope signs. Just a little bit of that head, huh, lovey? So I was trying to do everything that I could, just kind of keep range of motion up. Good girl. Oh my goodness. Are you outside for the first time in over two weeks? Oh, turn it. That's a good job. That's a good step. And then I come home from lunch to check on her. And she got really excited to see me. And she propped herself up really quickly. And I just freaked out. Oh my gosh, you're so brave and strong. Then I came home from work. My husband put her down on the grass and she just took off after me. And I just fell on the grass with her. And it was the first time I did let myself cry, but it was a good cry. I didn't take her in to keep her. That was not at all the initial plan. Don't need another dog, <laughs> especially as my husband. But it kind of just naturally fell into place where I think one day we kind of just looked at each other and we were like, I think we know that she's ours now. She's just very in tune with you and she follows me around everywhere. And I think not every little thing could have survived what she did, but she's pretty special. Oh, yeah.